Here are the best pizzas of Summerlin. After looking through the web and our complex yummy pizza algorithm, here is a list of top pizza places in the Summerlin area of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. These are in no particular order. In the vast world of culinary delights, few dishes can evoke the same universal love and passion as pizza. From its humble origins in Italy to becoming a global phenomenon, pizza has evolved into a diverse array of styles, flavors, and experiences. In Summerlin, Las Vegas, Nevada, there is a thriving pizza scene encompassing a mix of local gems and well-known chains. This video aims to explore what defines a good pizza place, drawing insights from reviews of some of Summerlin's top pizza spots, and why supporting local pizzerias is crucial. Number one is Rocco's Pizza on Charleston Boulevard. Here is a five-star review from across the web. I ordered two cheese pizzas and their anti-pasto salad for pickup, and they were ready very fast. Less than 15 minutes. Once we got there, we also saw fresh homemade tortellinis and bought two bags. We had them last night and they were very good. I love picking up food from Rocco's when we're in town watching our grandsons. They love the food as well. Very reasonably priced and nice people. Not everyone loved it though. Here is a three-star review for Rocco's Pizza on Charleston BLVD. Decided to spread out and get pizza in my neighborhood from somewhere different than normal. After checking menus online, Rocco's fit the bill. I did an online order for a Sicilian-style pizza. To that, I added mushrooms, pepperoni, and sausage as additional toppings at an additional charge. I made it for 3 p.m. pickup. I showed up about three minutes early. They couldn't find my order in their system. I showed the counter critter my email confirmarian. He went in the back, came back and asked if he could see confirmation again. During this time, someone looked at the name on a box sitting on top of the oven. After the critter returned a second time from the back, he checked that box and, yes, that was my pizza. Not a very auspicious start. They kept the receipt so I have no idea what it said or what the problem was. I brought the pizza home and opened the top of the box. I was a little surprised that I couldn't see any sausage and only a small amount of mushrooms. I removed one of the little tables and put a piece on my plate. After some salt and lots of red pepper flakes, I started to eat the pizza. I learned that their sausage is different from what I've ever had before. Instead of cooked ground sausage, they had small shavings off a cooked link of sausage. A curious change, but not nearly enough sausage. The crust was the thickness I like, but the center was a bit soft. It could have been baked more. It appears that I have to keep looking for another place to try. This was good, but a bit disappointing. Overall, Rocco's, there is very positive reviews for Rocco's, and it is one of the best pizza spots in Summerlin. Next on our about a mile up the street from Rocco's Pizza is Dom DeMarco's on West Charleston Road. Dom DeMarco is a stylish Italian restaurant and bar-serving NYC style and Sicilian pizza with a beautiful patio. Despite being on the pricey side for pizza, it is very good with a great atmosphere. Dom DeMarco's Pizzeria and Bar was born out of a partnership between Las Vegas restaurateur and pizza aficionado Albert Scaliat and Brooklyn's most iconic pizza joint, Difara Pizza. For over 55 years, Domenico DeMarco, 1937 to 2022, and DeFara Pizza have received lavish praise from neighborhood folks, celebrities, chowhounds, internationally renowned food critics, and famous chefs. And in NYC, where competition for the title of best pizza is fierce, this landmark has often been named No One Pizzeria in New York, and Best Italian Restaurant by prestigious publications including Zagat, New York Magazine, and New York Daily News. Now on the West Coast, Dom DeMarco's Pizzeria and Bar carries on that tradition being voted Best New Pizzeria in 2012 by Seven Magazine and voted Best Pizza, Wings, and Casual Restaurant in 2018 by the Las Vegas Review Journal's Best of Las Vegas. In addition to local awards, Dom DeMarco's has served a few celebrity guests too, including the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. On his visit to Las Vegas back in 2012, 
Obama wanted Brooklyn-style pizza, so Albert Scali delivered six rounds, six squares, and 20 cannolis directly to the president. Today, our menu continues to represent a truly authentic Italian experience. People come for the Neapolitan or New York-style pizza and the famous Sicilian square pizza, but the best-kept secret in town is the pasta. From the rigatoni vodka and lasagna to the Graham's meatballs and chicken parmigiana, the entire menu is made from scratch using 100% fresh ingredients with our family recipes. From our full-service bar, multiple televisions, and our giant outdoor patio, Dom DeMarco's Pizzeria and Bar is serving up old-school East Coast Italian flavors right in the heart of Las Vegas. Here is a five-star review from across the web. Our friend from work recommended this spot when we bumped into her at Smith's. She raved about the pizza, and so we decided to try it. We got the square bee sting and the spaghetti and meatball and tiramisu for dessert. The pizza was outstanding. We loved the sweet and spicy and the square style reminiscent of Detroit style pizza. My husband is FRMI. The pasta was so good and the meatball very tasty. We love all the TVs in the relaxed atmosphere. The tiramisu was huge and tasty. The cappuccino hit the spot. We liked it so much we came back the next weekend for happy hour and got a large pizza to split and the vodka pasta is so delicious. Then we came the week after that to have pizza and pasta during happy hour again when my stepdaughter was in town. We also had the Caesar salad very tasty. We love this place. The wait can be a bit during happy hour for the pizza, but it's busy. What do you expect? The service is always good and friendly. Did I already say I love this place? Despite more than 900 five-star reviews, there were a few people who didn't have the best experiences. Here is a one-star review. Look, I hate to do this, but I had to... I heard about this place because it made number one on the pizza bracket. So my expectations were high. I kept seeing their best in Vegas stuff on their boxes, so it had to wow me. Keep in mind, I'm local and an avid pizza eater. I've been eating pizza since I was young, and I'm very particular. As I said down, I couldn't wait to try the Frat Dom DeMarco. As the pizza came out, my first impression was, this doesn't look good, but it's all in the taste. As I took my first bite, I couldn't have been more upset. It was bland. The crust was chewy, and the toppings has no taste. I was blown away, but not in a good way. The staff was nice. The happy hour eased the wound a little. I'll give it to them, the happy hour is really good. But man, after all the hype surrounding this place, I'm not sure how it even made the pizza bracket. Maybe it's respect. My feelings were actually hurt by biting into this pizza. Third on our list is La Strega at 3555 Southtown Center Drive Suite, 105 Las Vegas, Nevada. La Strega is a more fine dining experience, although they have a menu with many food items. Their pizza is unique and tasty enough to include in this list. A little about La Strega. La Strega features inspired Italian cooking by chef partner Gina Marinelli. Italy is Chef Gina's muse for her menus. Through her travels throughout various regions in Italy, she features menu items that are filled with old-world charm, modern flair with the touch of a strega. With a passion for cooking that shines in each dish, Chef Gina Marinelli is the executive chef partner at La Strega, Las Vegas's bewitching trattoria and locals' hotspot featuring farm-to-table and coastal Italian cuisine in the heart of the renowned Summerlin community. With a desire to captivate her guests and take them on a personal adventure across Italy, Chef Gina's regionally inspired menu highlights her unique twists on Italian favorites infused with contemporary, fresh, yet simple flavors. Upon graduating from Le Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts in Orlando in 2006, Chef Gina moved to Las Vegas where she worked alongside iconic chefs, including Michael Mina at Nob Hill Tavern, Sven Mead at American Fish at Aria, Sean McLean at Sage at Aria, and James Beard award-winning chef Scott Conant at DOCG and Oteca at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. After years in Las Vegas kitchens, Chef Gina traveled to Italy, visiting the Amalfi Coast, Sicily, and Bologna, 
to further study and immerse herself in authentic Italian cuisine. During her travels, she worked in local kitchens and cooked alongside various local and regional chefs, even participating in a fisherman tour, dishing up fresh seafood caught by locals. Her travels left her inspired, driven, and full of ideas for her next project, La Strega. Opened in early 2019, La Strega brings Chef Gina's years of expertise, travels, and tastes for beautiful food to the forefront of this modern Italian restaurant, which continues to maintain one of the busiest kitchens in the greater Las Vegas area. When not in the kitchen, Chef Gina enjoys traveling with her fiancé, watching movies and football, listening to music, and spending time with her three dogs. If you go to La Strega on any given night and peer into its beautiful open kitchen, you'll likely see the smiling face of La Strega's sous chef, Pablo. With years of experience and long-time love for Italian cuisine, Pablo's passion for cooking is reflected in every artfully crafted meal he creates. Chef Pablo was born in Mexico and came to the United States when he was 14. A couple short years later, he began his first job as a dishwasher and quickly thereafter began working in the kitchen, learning how to make fresh pasta. For several years, Chef Pablo worked his way through different culinary positions until eventually taking on his sous chef title. He has worked alongside notable chefs, including Elizabeth Blau, Scott Conant, and now Chef Gina Marinelli, who over the past three and a half years has pushed him to continue to grow and develop his skills. Working with Chef Gina has been incredible. It's easy to support her. She is an incredible teacher, mentor, and coach. Chef Pablo looks forward to continuing working alongside Gina for years to come. In his downtime, Pablo enjoys being outdoors, camping, relaxing, and spending time with his family. Now let's get to the reviews. Here is a five-star review from La Strega. This has been on my list to try for a while now, so I was super excited to go this past weekend. The service was attentive and kind. Loved the decor with its coastal Italian vibes. For drinks, I tried the Alessandra, which was a refreshing, fruity, and sweet cocktail that came in a large peacock mug. My fiancé got the Stagecoach Mary, which was spirit-forward, as the waitress described, but well-balanced. My fiancé and I ordered the Autumn Squash and Burrata, which was a bit of a small portion, but delicious nonetheless. Also got the Truffle Pesto Pizza, which we enjoyed as an appetizer and took the other half home. Only complaint for this was that it was a bit heavy on the olive oil. For our mains, we got the Rigatoni Bolognese and Stracci. These were amazing. Noodles were both cooked to perfection. Bolognese wasn't too acidic, which was nice. For the Stracci, loved the tenderness of the beef cheeks and heavy mushroom flavors, but it did run a bit salty. Overall, really wowed by the delicious pastas and cocktails and cannot wait to return. Although many people really enjoyed La Strega, there are a few that didn't feel so strongly. Here is a three-tar review on La Strega. Let me start with this. Staff is super friendly. Kid, uh, the front door was perfect for his job. Food was actually very, very good. Small plates, but very tasty. Here's where the problem was. Our waiter. Although he was super friendly, he completely misrepresented the menu to us. At no time, even though we had two kids with us, did he ever mention that there was a kid's option not listed on the menu. How do I know this? Well, the table behind us had three kids at it, and they were eating a bowl of pasta with a butter sauce. Now on with the issues. First, the waiter told the entire table that the dishes were a family style, large portions. Yay, not the case at all. Secondly, against because he didn't mention a kid's option beforehand, my twin 10-year-old boys ordered a spicy pig pizza. A still no mention to my kids, hey, that is a really spicy pizza. How about something off the kid's menu? Of course not, just out the order in. Now, three ladies at the table ordered two dishes to share, again, because we were told family size. We ordered an appetizer for the table again, with no remarks from the waiter. It came out with five little PCS on a plate. No, the frosting on the cake. I made the reservation and informed the staff it was a birthday dinner. 
I even asked if I could bring a cake and was told, shouldn't be an issue, but that they would be giving her something with a candle on it. So we chose to leave the birthday cake home. And guess what? The waiter never mentioned or brought anything. Not even a happy birthday was uttered to my wife. So in closing, if the service and experience would have matched the taste of the food and correct information would have been shared by staff, this would be a 5 out of 5 rating. A few other notable mentions pizza mentions are Grimaldi's on Rampart Boulevard, Giordano's if you want deep dish Santina's, what makes a good pizza place? Quality ingredients. A hallmark of a great pizza place is its commitment to using fresh, high-quality ingredients. From the dough to the toppings, each component should be carefully selected to enhance flavor and texture. Attention to detail. The art of pizza making lies in the details. Whether it's the perfect crust thickness, the balance of flavors, or the precise baking time, attention to detail is paramount. Consistency. Consistency breeds trust and loyalty among customers. A good pizza place maintains consistency in taste, portion sizes, and overall dining experience with every visit. Warm hospitality. Beyond the food itself, exceptional customer service can elevate the dining experience. Friendly staff, efficient service, and a welcoming atmosphere leave a lasting impression. Innovation and authenticity. While tradition forms the foundation, innovation keeps a pizza place relevant. Whether it's reinventing classic recipes or staying true to authentic flavors, a balance of innovation and authenticity is key. Why support local pizza places? Community connection. Local pizzerias are often woven into the fabric of their communities, fostering a sense of belonging and connection. Supporting these businesses strengthens community bonds and sustains local economies. Unique flavors and experiences. Local pizza places frequently offer unique flavors and experiences that reflect the cultural diversity and creativity of their surroundings. These establishments contribute to the culinary landscape with their distinct offerings. Personalized service. Unlike large chains, local pizza places often provide personalized service tailored to the preferences of their regular patrons. This personal touch enhances the dining experience and fosters loyalty. Preservation of tradition. Many local pizzerias uphold traditional methods of pizza making passed down through generations. By supporting these establishments, one contributes to the preservation of culinary heritage and craftsmanship. Environmental impact. Supporting local businesses often translates to a smaller carbon footprint due to reduced transportation and packaging. Local ingredients sourced from nearby farms further minimize environmental impact. Conclusion. In essence, a good pizza place transcends mere sustenance. It embodies a cultural experience, a celebration of flavors, and a connection to community. While chain restaurants offer convenience and familiarity, local pizzerias offer something far more enriching, a slice of authenticity, creativity, and local pride. By patronizing local pizza places, one not only indulges in exceptional food, but also plays a vital role in preserving culinary traditions, supporting local economies, and fostering a sense of belonging within the community. In Summerlin, whether you find yourself at Rocco's Pizza, Dom DeMarco's Pizzeria and Bar, La Strega, or any other local gem, embrace the opportunity to savor the flavors of authenticity and support the heartbeat of the neighborhood pizza scene.